The Nova football team defeated Plymouth 34-6 last week. Tonight, join us at 7 p.m. where they take on the Howell Highlanders for our homecoming game. Go Wildcats! Hi guys, this Friday, our varsity boys tennis team will be playing our regionals at our home courts. We'll be playing all the other schools in our region. And our captain's got something to say. Uh, we owe it to the school to win this. I think we're gonna go out there and win it. I think we got a good group of guys going. We, we haven't beaten North for the last time, but I got a feeling. It's no longer a team, this is a brotherhood. We're gonna win this for you, Novi. Last Tuesday, the cross country teams met at Howell High School with a meet against Howell and Plymouth. The girls won against both Howell and Plymouth, while the boys only won against Howell. Way to go, Wildcats. So as you guys may know, the Nova High School Marching Band got first place at their competition last Saturday. So I went to talk to the band director, Mr. Dyroff, to find out more about Marching Band. So Mr. Dyroff, what is the theme this year? So our theme this year is called um, All Alone Together. And the basic premise of the idea really came from the fact that everybody, after going through all the COVID stuff and so on, really found a place of being in band together again and in a happy place. And so from the beginning of the show, we start uh, a lot of our music details and things that are going in the field of people being alone and what it was like during that time and the striving to be with other people and so on. And then as we go through the show, you hear music that gradually gets a little more happy. And that's a hint for the, for the end of our show where we come together and everybody comes together on the field and uh, we play happy together. All right, and what do practices look like for marching band? Typically we rehearse for about three hours at a time. We go through all of the physical training that you would need to do to do, what, to do what we do, stretching, laps, cardio, that kind of stuff. And then we get into our fundamental techniques, whether it's marching or fundamentals and music and so on. And again, it depends on the rehearsal, but we'll tend to have a rehearsal that will be focused on a lot of the marching stuff that we're doing one day, and then the next day we'll focus a little bit more on the music and bringing those things together. All right, and as we learned, band won their past competition this previous Saturday. So how do you plan to improve so that we can win more competitions? Well, we actually don't talk about winning at all with the kids. We just talk about, you know, what we can do to get better. And the thing that's different about, you know, when you do marching band competitions, you don't have a one-on-one -on -one combat sport type situation where you do things to beat another group, so to speak. You just do the best that you can. and. You know, then judges determine, you know, different levels and qualities of music and marching and so on. So what we've talked about is just taking care of all the fundamentals. What are the fundamental things that we have to do to perform at the highest level? And then we go out and try to entertain the crowd and do it at the highest level possible. And whatever happens from a competition standpoint happens. So. All right. Thanks for coming to talk to us. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Go Wildcats. Next week, orchestra has their first concert of the year. It's on Tuesday the 11th, starts at 7 o'clock, and is in the Forest Auditorium. Make sure to be there, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? Today we're going to be interviewing some girls from Palm to see how they prepare for the pep rally this Friday. So the captains just met yesterday to come up with our music and then our choreo as well, and then we're going to teach the soccer and our cross-country boys next week. Uh, we'll have a few practices during homecoming week where the captains will teach a few routines uh, that we're going to perform at the pep rally and we'll go over it and practice it a bunch and then uh, we have guy girl practices I think we have two of them during the week and we teach the guys the routine and then just practice it. Normally our coaches will make our competition routines but when it comes to our football games um, we normally the captains just teach um, a routine from our camp season which was just last season and then we'll perform those at halftime. 
Hey, Wildcats. Boys soccer had a game against Salem on Tuesday, which they tied. Another game against Canton. And then their upcoming game is Monday night, which is their senior night at Meadows Stadium, 7 o'clock. Be there or be square, Wildcats. Hey, Wildcats. On September 30th and October 1st, the girls' swim and dive team had their Oakland County Championships. Both swimmers and divers did really well, including diver Lorelai Maisano, who was the Oakland County Champion. Congratulations. Later today, Lorelai will also be competing in the MISCA Championship. Good luck. On October 6th, the team had an away meet versus Canton. They lost the meet, but there were still some fast swims and high-scoring dives. Also, on Thursday, October 13th, they'll compete against the Brighton Bulldogs, so make sure to wish them luck. Hey Novi, on Tuesday your girls field hockey team went up against Gabriel Richard and tied, and on Thursday went against Brighton. Congrats to Sophia and Arusha for being top 10 in the state for having goals and assists. Hey Wildcats, eSports had another fantastic week this week. Our CSGO League of Legends team both won their matches as well as both Green and White Smash and Valorant teams. Unfortunately, Splatoon lost again, but they're ready to come back next week. Let's go Wildcats! On Tuesday, there was a unified soccer game against Royal Oak. Unfortunately, our Novi Wildcats came up short with a score of 10 to 8. However, both teams put in a lot of effort and it was a fun day for everyone. Hello, Cat Sanders. I'm here with Charlotte Stoy and the volleyball team. I got a couple questions for her. Charlotte, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I heard you guys uh, didn't do too good on Tuesday. Yeah. What happened there? Yeah, we ended up losing to Northville at home. Um, we ended up taking the first set, but we just couldn't play consistently enough to take it from yeah. them. So, so what, what do you think is you guys' strengths and weaknesses in you guys' volleyball team? Um, I think we have a lot of experience on the team. Most of our starting lineup is all seniors and people who have had experience in those games. So I think that's a really good strength for us. I think just consistency-wise, we sometimes get in like lows that we can get out of. So, so how do you guys think your season's going to be going? Like, good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good for Northville. We'll play them two more times, one time in the KLA tournament, and then the last time we'll play them in districts. So hopefully we can improve from there and get a win by the end of it. So. Well, guys, you heard it right here.